This is another pulsing VHF transmitter. Making use of a bigger solar panel, its pulsing is more reliable. Making use of a flashing LED. It's hard to see, but the LED is indeed flashing. A high value series resistor keeps its current low and the light dim. But that's not important in this application because all we need the LED to do is to pulsate the current going to the base of the oscillator transistor. The solar panel is 6 volts 1 watt and I was able to buy 10 of them for $10 making it useful for this and other projects. Here's the circuit taken from a 27 MHz transmitter on the Talking Electronics website. It worked first time, but I made some modifications, including putting the flashing LED in to the base circuit. You might need to experiment with the position of the antenna along the tap of the coil. You can use a field strength meter or receiver a few meters away to work out which tapping position gives the best strength. With the two transmitters set up, we'll now go inside and see which is the strongest on the receiver. This is the 1.5 volt powered transmitter and this is the 6 volt type. Although as it's slightly overcast, those voltages will be a little bit less. One experiment I suggest is to see if you can use a piezo buzzer in conjunction with the flashing LED and the transmitter. If you have the buzzer in the right part of the circuit, you might be able to modulate it. That's beneficial because at the moment the pulsing CW can only be properly heard on a CW or SSB receiver. If you add some modulation, and I'm sure that putting the buzzer somewhere in the circuit will give you both frequency pulling for FM and amplitude variations for AM, then you should be able to hear it on almost any type of receiver, even possibly a homebrew super regenerative. That makes the beacon much more versatile and easier to track with a wide variety of receivers. It's a cloudy day, so I haven't succeeded, but I'm pretty sure it would be possible.